Hare Krishna, everyone. Some of you have arrived during the Kirtan. Like welcome you all. And thank you for taking your valuable time for coming here to participate in this Krishna Conscious program at Prem Krishna Prabhu's house. I mentioned before that Due to my age, I have been quite careful during the pandemic, and I have not been attending public kirtans so much. And this has been a change of a lifestyle, because prior to the pandemic, I was constantly traveling around the world with my friends, and we would be having programs speaking about Krishna consciousness and the chanting of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra for the upliftment of people in this world practically all the time. Almost it was like a different continent every week going and teaching people and chanting. And then this pandemic came upon us. And by the grace of my spiritual master, Srila Prabhupada, and by the grace of Sri Sri Radha Krishna, I was in Sri Vrindavan when the pandemic began and the lockdown began. And I've been able to spend practically a year now in the transcendental atmosphere of Sri Vrindavan Dham. And this is only the Second time I've come for a public kirtan. I had a few kirtans, private kirtans at home, and we did a few kirtans online. But this is the second time I've come to join friends and chant Hare Krishna. And when we finished, I turned to the Kinshina and I turned to Yogi and I said, Oh, this is such a nice thing. <laughs> such a wonderful thing to do. And we only sang now for about 20 or 30 minutes. Generally, we cannot understand the meaning of having kirtan in 30 minutes. Generally, when we have kirtan, it's for two hours or three hours or four hours. Or sometimes when we become very absorbed in kirtan, we can go on for 12 hours or so or longer very refreshing to the soul to be able to chant the holy names in association of like-minded people and for us to be able to hear the beautiful sound of Krishna's holy name. One of our great teachers spiritual master, Acharya, who appeared in this world roughly 500 years ago, was named Rupa Goswami. He was one of the uh, 
Recently, I heard my spiritual master speaking. He said Vrindavan was just a field. Now we know that Mathura has always been a prominent city. And through history, на протяжении истории Матхура была известна, а Вриндава не забыли. Шри Чайтанья Махапрабху отправил шестерых в Вриндаван, чтобы они нашли места, где Кришна вершил лилы во Вриндаване performed his leelas in Vrindavan. And he also gave them responsibility to write books about bhakti. And all of you understand what is bhakti yoga. It is the Это yoga of yoga. devotional love. So Rupa Goswami, he lived in Vrindavan and he wrote many hundreds of thousands of beautiful shlokas of Sanskrit poetry glorifying Krishna and the process of bhakti and the name of Krishna. And he wrote one verse, which I remember when we chant like this. And it is a verse that begins with a question. In amazement, he is saying, how much nectar is contained in the two syllables Krishna? How much amrita? How much eternal joy is contained in the two syllables Krishna? Now, when he is speaking of maybe Prabhuji can, okay. Hare Krishna. When we're speaking of this spiritual joy или амрита, we are meaning a transcendental feeling that is of the same nature as Krishna. And the ancient texts from India explain that Krishna's nature is such he is eternal, he is full of knowledge, and he is everlastingly full of joy. Everlastingly full of joy. 
So that's something which is different than what we in society look for today. In society, we see that people are looking for something which is very quick. We see that people are looking for pleasure that comes, but then it goes away. We all feel that, well, I can't say it any longer. We have these beautiful young people sitting here. Everybody wishes to relish that beauty and pleasure of their youth, but it goes away. Like this young boy behind me, Yogi. He's like our handsome Bollywood movie star. And his brother Ananda. He's 23 year old boy. And I tried to convince him. Yes, one time I was 23 also. Look what happened. <laughs> Probably not so beautiful like him, but still, once I was 23. The youth trying to find lasting joy and the wealth but everybody knows that the wealth is so hard to come by and can go away so quickly. Or if you have karma for wealth, then the wealth will come to you, but you will not be able to hold on to it. Like my father, he was in the entertainment industry, and he was a very wealthy man. But when he was dying from cancer, I went to see him a long time ago. And he told me, son, so much wealth came to me in my life. He said, so much fame came to me in my life. So much recognition and high position came to me in my life. He said, now it's like me trying to hold water in my hands. He said, it's all running through my fingers. He said, I, he said, I, can't, I can't hold on to it. I said, yes, Dad. Temporary. So the poet, he said, how much nectar is contained in the two syllables, Krishna. When I hear Krishna, when that sound vibration passes my ears, immediately I wish to have one million ears. When I vibrate the sound Krishna, immediately it's so sweet, I wish to have one million tongues. And when that sound vibration goes deep into the innermost recesses of my heart, When it touches my soul, he said that sound vibration dances in my heart, and my mind 
Тогда мы теряем контакт с объектами этого материального мира. Сколько же нектара заключено в этих двух слогах Кришны? Здесь в первом ряду сидит девушка Виндарани, которую я знал еще маленькой девочкой. Она так красиво танцует. Она просто мастер Одисси. I don't know if any of you all have ever seen her in a program, but she's actually a master of Odyssey dance. And when she dances, and when Krishna's name dances in your heart, ah, this is what I've been looking for. So this chanting is such a wonderful thing. And all of you know Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita. And all of you have probably read and studied Bhagavad Gita. And in chapter 4 of the Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna speaks to his Shishya Arjuna about transcendental knowledge. How people, simple people like us, who have positions in this world, and jobs in this world, families in this world, how we can attain the transcendental knowledge of God and rise to the spiritual platform. He was speaking to Arjuna. Arjuna was not a small man. Arjuna was... He was... The, he was the high roller of that age. He was a prince. He was a warrior. He was loved throughout the world. And he told Arjun something interesting. And probably all of you know this verse. He said, Paritranaya sadunam binashaya chatuskritam dharma samstapanartaya sambhavani so what does Krishna instruct in that verse? Krishna, he tells Arjun, he says, my dear friend Arjun, I descend from my abode in Golokdham, and I come into this world age after age. And I come here for three purposes. The first purpose is Paritranaya Sadhuna. I come here to protect people who are naturally following principles of Dharma. And then he says, Binashaya, I also come into this world to chastise the mystery of people. And since we have been young, we have heard how the Lord came as Ram and he chastised Ravan and how the Lord appeared in his half-man, half-lion form, Narasinga, and he chastised Hiranyakasipu. And he appeared as Lord Baraha, the great war. His appearance day was two days ago, I think. Yesterday, only yesterday. Baraha appeared within this world, and he picked up the earth from the bottom of the ocean of devastation, and he held the earth on his chest. I was reading Jai Swami's 
Gita Govinda yesterday. And the first song that Jaidev sings or writes in Gita Govinda is the Dasavatar Stotra. And he glorifies Varahadeva. And in his verse he says, he says, just like sometime we see the full moon, and on the beautiful full moon, we can see like a tiny black spot. Is it a full moon? <laughs> so he said, he said, on the full moon, sometimes we see a tiny spot and it increases the beauty. Это лишь подчеркивает. And he said, Baraha was so big and his tusks were so white that the earth planet just looked like one of those tiny spots on the moon. That's how big he was. And then he chastised the Rakshasha, So, Paritranaya Sadunam Pinashaya Chatuskritam. And then he says, Dharma samstapanartaya. And he says, he says I re-establish the eternal principles of Dharma. I come to teach people how they can live a natural, whole, fulfilling life in harmony with the laws of nature which have been created by myself so people will be peaceful and satisfied in that peaceful and satisfied state they can go towards the actual goal of life which is self-realization. Dharma samstapanartaya Sambhavani yuge yuge I do it age after age, age after age. So we know 5,000 years ago, he came in his avatar, or he came in his original form, as Shri Krishna. The original form of the one who has created everything. It is he's a beautiful, youthful cowboy who is People have so many different conceptions of what God is. In the West, people think God is an old man who has a long beard and carries a weight on his shoulder. And here in our Dharmic India, sometimes people have the understanding of Avatar or so many different Avatars. But his original form no, is the form. Form. And 5,000 years ago, he came here, and he came with his brother, со своим братом, Baladev, Krishna and Balaram. Krishna and Balaram. And I'm looking just here, and I'm Я seeing such a beautiful, big, Photo of Krishna and Balarama. Krishna and Balarama. Where? That's Krishna and Balarama. Yeah. Yogi, he's always seeing Radisham. Yogi is always Radisham. So even if, even if Yogi is looking at a monkey in Vrindavan, he sees only Radishya. <laughs> 5,000 years ago, he came to Krishna and Balaram. He came to Krishna and Balaram. He was accompanied by his brother Balaram. Brother Balaram. And when he came to Krishna Sadunam, he protected his pious Своё family, Pinashaya Chaduskritam, Kamsa. Kamsa. 
Джарасанха. So many others. It's not mythology. Все это не мифология. Все так и было. It is not mythology. Это не мифология. Все так и было. And when he came, he was on the battle of the field of Kurukshetra. And that's not mythology. That's mythology. Все так и было. And he spoke the Bhagavad Gita to Arjun. And in his youth, he played with his friends in Vrindavan. He loved his mother and father, Yashoda and Nanda. He loved his boyfriend, Sridhar Subal. He loved the cows in Vrindavan. Krishna is much better than me. He loves the monkeys in Vrindavan. <laughs> and Krishna, he, he danced with the girls of Vrindavan. And the transcendental spirit of exchange, a pure and selfless loving devotion. And when he spoke Bhagavad Gita, he gave all these lessons on Dharma. And then in the end of the Bhagavad Gita, he said, Sarva Dharmam Tadichat Jamam Ikam Sharanam Braja Aham Tam Sarva Papebyo Moksha Ishami Nasucha. He said, my dear Arjuna, I've given you so many instructions. He said, but now I will give you the real test of your faith, just to see how faithful you are. He said, give up all the other different dharmas, give up yoga and give up jnana, give up yoga and jnana and give up mysticism. And Arjun, Arjuna, just give your heart to me and love. I am not interested in your mystic powers. I am not interested in your karma kanda. I am not interested in your knowledge. All I want, Arjun, is your love. Please give your heart to me in love. This is the highest dharma. He said, if you surrender to me in this way, Aham Tam Sarva Papebyo, I will take all your papkarma. And I think, you know, because we're all sitting here tonight, we're all reasonably honest people, and we know that all of us, we have things inside of our hearts that we surely wish weren't there. But Krishna says, if you surrender to me, I will take all of that. And then he says, Aham tam sarvapapebyo moksha ishami. And then I give you liberation and love. I give you pure bhakti. And he concludes by saying, Masuchaha. Do not fear. Generally, we're we're fearful to surrender to God because we think that we're going to lose something. But my dear friends, when you surrender your everything to Krishna, you will receive the greatest gift. And that is that Krishna will give himself to you. And Krishna will give Krishna his love. love. Not the temporary self-serving love of this world, but he will give you that eternal Ananda and that eternal love. So that was the last yuga. And now we have a new yuga. It's actually not so new. It's been going on for 5,000 years now. The moment that Krishna left this earth, 
оставил этот мир и вернулся в свою вечную эпоху. Началась новая эпоха, получившая название Кали-Юга. Вы все слышали о Кали-Юге. Это последняя из четырех эпох, составляющих Кали-Юге. Это век лицемерия, раздоров, обмана. Это не благоприятный век. И в говорится, что жизнь каждого, кто живет в Кали-Юге, очень коротка, люди ленивые и запутавшиеся. И разум данные Богом и использовать решение материальных проблем, а не для самосознания. Они строят один план за другим, чтобы улучшить свое материальное положение. Как я уже цитировал моего умирающего отца, который сказал, я пытаюсь удержать воду, которая протекает у меня сквозь пальцы. So that's Kali Yuga. It's not a good time. Of course, конечно. You know, вы знаете, fifty years ago when I came to India, когда приехал в Индию, we didn't have places like this in Noida. Не было таких мест, как это. We didn't have flyovers in Delhi like they have now. We didn't have. We had. Подмини и амбассадор. А сейчас все сверкает огнями. Но это все временно. И Кришна говорит, я прихожу в век Авьяга. И в этот век он также пришел. В прошлый раз он приходил к Кришне и Баларам. А сейчас как Шри Чайтанья Махапрабху. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Krishna. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Krishna. He has come as a devotee of Krishna to teach all of us how to approach Him in this age. And the method of approach that He has given in this age. Is not karma, is not yan, is not yoga, but he has given us the process of Hari Nam Sankirtan, chanting the holy names of the Lord, like we did in the beginning of the program. In the great Shrimad Bhagavatam, it is said, Krishna Varnam Tusa Krishna Sangopam Gastra Parshadam. Jagnai sen kirtan prayer jijanti hi sumeda shaha. He said, he has come. He will come in Kali Yuga. Krishna Varnam. He will be the same Varna. He will be the same quality as Krishna in Gorpa Yuga. But he will not be black. He will be gold. Он будет золотого цвета. Кришна Варнам Твиса Кришнам Санга Пангастра Паршитам. И как в Индурпа Юга, он пришел с Баларамом. И он пришел с Баларамом. И еще с многими друзьями. И в Кали Юга он также приходит со своими друзьями. Он пришел с Баларамом. И со своим братом. Баларам приходит как Нитай. Нитянанда. И, мои дорогие друзья, сегодня день рождения Нитянанда. Nityananda appeared in this world 540 years ago today. And and if you go to Bengal, are any of you Bengalis? My chance is to go from the north. In Bengal, this is like if you come to Vrindavan. He was born in Vrindavan. If you go to, like, if you go to Brindavan, how do people greet you? They go, Rade, Rade. Rade, Rade. Rade, Rade. If you go to Bengal, they greet you, Jai Natai, Jai Natai, Jai Natai. So today is 
Все поднимите руки и Махапрабху и Нитянанда Прабху пришли чтобы распространить трансцендентную вечную любовь к с помощью метода воспевания Хари Кришна Махамантра. Это очень могущественный и удивительный метод. Если вы погрузитесь в воспевание, Ваше сердце изменится. Сейчас там кама, кротха, лобха, мацария, все эти качества, присущие нашему сердцу. Этими качествами не стоит гордиться. Никто из нас не будет гордиться тем, что он гневается. Никто не будет гордиться похотью. Никто не будет гордиться настроением жадности. Я хочу больше, больше, я хочу еще больше. Но если вы просто погрузитесь в звук имени Кришны, а имя Кришны не отлично от Шри Кришны, Шри Кришна по своей милости очистит ваши сердца от этих качеств. Это милость Шри Чайтани Махапрабху и Нитянанды Махапрабху. Это милость Господа Чайтани. И Господа Нитянанда. Пожалуйста, просто подумайте. Вы можете сказать, у нас все хорошо. Зачем нам что-то менять? Но я прошу вас, мои дорогие друзья, в прошедшем году 215 миллионов человек по всему миру умерли от COVID-19. Самое главное, Посещают школы. Новые штаммы этого вируса появляются снова и снова. Пожалуйста, не говорите, что все в порядке, потому что это не так. We can't be like the ostrich that keeps its head in the sand when a problem is coming. And even if there were not COVID-19, each and every one of us will be called by death. So this is why Господь Чайтани и Господь Тянанда они хотят, чтобы каждый из нас проснулся. Они хотят, чтобы каждый из нас понял истинную ценность жизни. Они хотят, чтобы каждый из нас поднялся на трансцендентную платформу и восстановил любовные отношения с Кришной просто с помощью метода повторения Хари Кришна. Так, я уже слишком много сказал, поскольку, как я уже сказал вначале, я давно не выходил в люди, сегодня я здесь, и, как говорят, лошадь хочет нестись, скачет, но мне следует сдержаться. Я благодарю вас всех за внимание за внимание, терпение и доброе расположение. Я саньяси, монах. И в саньяси были попрошайками. А в нашей гауди традиции 
And generally, in the, in the ancient times, they would do pictures, they would go to the house and go radhe, radhe, radhe. They would beg something. Well, I, I didn't come here to Noida to beg to you people tonight. Actually, I did. Uh, I'm just так. telling a story. <laughs> but I didn't come to beg, you know, chapatis. And I didn't come to beg your bank account numbers or your credit cards or wallets. Because I know that all of that will go away. I came here to very humbly fall at all of your feet and beg you to begin chanting the Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna Mahamantra. Each and every one of you, please, make it a part of your daily routine. Just to sit время, and concentrate and fix your mind and repeat Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Please, Пожалуйста, this is what I'm begging то, from you all. Uh, just chant Просто the Holy повторяйте names. святые имена. And И according to your shakti, того, шакти, share this chanting с каждым, кого встретите, с членами своей семьи, с родственниками, с бизнес-партнерами. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave the instruction, Yari Deki Tari Kaha Krishna Upadesh, Amar Upadesh. Everybody that you see and everybody that you speak to, give them Krishna Upadesh. You are not the body, the eternal soul, awaken that to chanting Hare Krishna. And then he says, Amara Agnaya Guru Tarahana Edesh. In this way you can all become Guru. guru. And do the most compassionate welfare work in human society by giving people knowledge saving people from the fire okay. the horse has to go back to the stall. Thank you all very much for being so attentive tonight. Please chant Hare Krishna. And now, in conclusion, we'll have kirtan for two more minutes. Is that all right? Permitted? Okay, we'll have kirtan for a few more minutes. Everybody please chant. And if you like, jump up and dance. But please, don't jump over. Okay, Hare Krishna. So Krishna came in Dwarpa Yuga Krishna and he taught Gita. Gita. And Krishna came, Krishna has come in Kali Yuga. Kali Yuga. As Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is teaching us Harinam Sankirtan. Sankirtan. And he has come with Balaram, with Balaram, and Balaram, Balaram, это не тай. And one great Vaishnava, один великий Вайшнави, has written, написал, Арабе не тай чандер коруна хуи бе сам сарбасу намора каби ту чахабе. He has prayed. Когда же не тай чант? Когда милости полной луны прольются на меня? Он утверждает. When I received the blessings of Nittai, all of my samsara-vasana, all of my material desires from my heart will go away 
And then we will attain the goal of life, which is Prema Bhakti. Prema Bhakti. Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has taught us Prema Bhumartha Mahan, that the greatest goal of life is Prema. Это прямо. And I think that all of you, Я думаю, least, что многие из присутствующих, по крайней мере, older, старшее поколение, помнят Джагджик Джагджик. Я не знаю, слышала ли это молодежь. Для нас, старикоз, это было что-то чудесное. Према — это то, что мы ищем. Не интересует мишура материального мира. Нам нужна према. Преимущество человеческой жизни состоит в том, что мы можем обрести према, если мы будем этого хотеть. Поэтому все повторяйте Харе Кришна. Спасибо большое за то, что пришли сегодня вечером. Было так здорово провести этот вечер с вами. Я был так счастлив смотреть, как все вы танцевали. Все женщины так красиво танцевали. И даже не стеснительные мальчики тоже пошли в пляс. Одна из гостей перед программой сказала мне, что познакомилась с Гаури Дасом. Познакомилась с фитнесом. Я увидел его стоящего во время Киртана и сказал, Бая, ты ходишь в фитнес, давай поднимайся или ну, я тебя переломаю. Так что Гаури, даже Гаури Дас танцевал сегодня в экстазе. Бая. Лакшая танцевал, и все пробу танцевали. Это так здорово. Это самое чудесное, что только может быть. Еще раз большое спасибо. Прямо Кришна Дас. И уже ранее за то, что принимали нас в своем доме и позволили провести эту чудесную программу.